Hey guys, it's Comic Central here, and today we're going to be counting down 25 comic facts you should know in rapid fire. Let's get into this. Batman's online screen name is John Doe 297. Michael Jackson wanted to buy Marvel in the 1990s, that way he could play Spider-Man in a movie that he wanted to produce. If someone wanted the answer to who would win in a race, Flash or Quicksilver, then it is the Flash, and he bet Quicksilver in a race in a 1996 in a DC and Marvel Comics crossover. This was the Wally West Flash, if you were wondering. Wolverine didn't fully debut in his first appearance, and he only made a cameo in The Incredible Hulk issue 180 before he fully debuted in the next issue. The first time the Punisher killed the Marvel Universe, Frank Castle shot himself after he killed his friend Matt Murdock or Daredevil, which means he killed every single superhero and vigilante in the Marvel Universe, including himself. Man Thing and Swamp Thing are often being called extremely similar, with them even being introduced in the comics just two months apart, with Man Thing coming out first. This is because the comic creators of the two characters were roommates at the time. Many people call Superman the last son of Krypton, even though his cousin, his dog, and multiple criminals also survived the planet's destruction. Even the entire city of Kandor did as well. Spider-Man has a hyphen in his name because the employees of Marvel at the time thought that if he didn't, it would look too similar to Superman in print. When the Joker is in Arkham Asylum, his cell number is 0801, which is somewhat ironic as the number 8 matches up with the letter H, and 1 matches up with A, making his cell translate to Ha. Ben Affleck is the only actor to portray both Batman and Superman in a TV series or a movie, and played Batman in multiple DCEU movies and dressed up as Superman in the movie Hollywoodland. In comics published by Marvel, a company called Marvel Comics exists and publishes stories about characters that exist in the universe like Iron Man. A small error used to be in Wolverine's design which was that his arm hair would disappear as soon as he got into costume, but would reappear after he got out of it. In the crossover comic Spawn Batman, Batman throws the Batran into Spawn's face, and instead of fixing it up properly, Spawn just ties the wound up with his shoelace and leaves it for a few issues in his own series. The well-loved John Constantine comic, Hellblazer, was originally going to be called Hellraisers, but since the horror movie Hellraiser came out a few months before the comic was released, this had to be changed. Both Harley Quinn and Renee Montaya first debuted in the Batman the Animated Series of the 90s and didn't first debut in the comics. The font Comic Sans, which is hated by a lot of people, is inspired by the lettering in both Watchmen and The Dark Knight Returns. Spawn creator Todd McFarlane burnt Spawn's skin, that way people didn't focus on the fact that he was black, and rather on the character, with race not in mind. All of the lost limbs and various other parts that Deadpool has lost over the years once fused back all together to become one being. This created an evil version of Deadpool. According to the Nova Corps, the Guardian of the Galaxy, Star-Lord, has murdered over 350,000 people. Doctor Doom dropped out of college and is not a real doctor. Batman has mastered approximately 127 different martial arts and knows over 23 different languages. Joker once killed a woman who was caring for multiple babies, then left the babies to die from starvation, which would mean they would die in the woman's pool of blood. Deathstroke is an extremely deadly assassin and can throw almost anything with deadly accuracy. In fact, he once killed a fly with a paperclip as it was flying. Martian Manhunter has full control over his molecular structure, meaning he has the power to shapeshift and his clothes are not actually clothes and are actually just a part of his skin. The lenses of Clark Kent's glasses are made up of Kryptonian glass and can amplify a passive hypnosis ability that allows him to control how other people perceive him. And that brings us to the end of yet another video. If you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. Also, comment your thoughts and opinions on these facts, as well as any video ideas that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with new videos coming out every Wednesday and Sunday. With that said, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.